Matt Hall and Derek Young here once again from Bill Snyder Family Stadium on a Tuesday after Bill Snyder had his weekly press conference here in the Veneer Football Complex. A lot of respect shown to number 18 Mississippi State, who K-State will obviously be playing on Saturday. Thoughts on what you heard about the Bulldogs today, Derek? Uh, Bill Snyder even definitely gushed over the kind of the talent on hand for the Bulldogs and what they've kind of have going in Starkville. And I think most of that probably was for what they have in the trenches, yep. which, which is fair. It's a pretty big offensive line, a pretty big defensive line. Of course, you have Jeffrey Simmons and Montez Sweat. So a lot of the focus and probably the compliments were paid to, you know, that portion of their football team and also Nick Fitzgerald and, and kind of the challenges maybe and defending him because there's nothing on tape of Nick Fitzgerald kind of, you know, participating in Joe Moorhead's offense. There'll be a lot of talk about Mississippi State this week for good reason. They're one of the better teams in college football, football but a lot of the talk today was about K-State needing to worry about itself. How did you take the mood of Coach Snyder and then the few players we talked to today um, coming off last Saturday's tough game? Uh, I don't want to say he was making excuses for their performance. I don't think that was his intention at all, but he did kind of paint a picture about what if. So what if we didn't make the mental mistake here or the penalty there, the turnover there? Here are 16 points you know, that we kind of left on the field, 10 points that we gave them. So he kind of focused on not necessarily what everything went wrong, but what those things like hurt how those things hurt them you know when they did, did the mistakes and you know it could have been a 20 you know 30 point win if they they had played I guess what they would call Kansas State brand of football of course a lot of talk about quarterback got the sense today that Bill Snyder doesn't see it much differently heading into week two than he did week one at least that's for me did you feel the same and I guess what are your thoughts about that position going into the biggest challenge of the non-conference schedule if he did feel the same, he probably wouldn't have told us. So right. I don't know if there's anything to kind of decipher from what he had to say about the quarterbacks today because I don't know if we'd ever get an accurate portrayal from him of how we thought of it. But he certainly didn't give any hints or clues as to how he was going to use this position moving forward. You know, I would think that it, you know, at least would look a lot like last week and hopefully maybe a little bit less like last week. But didn't really get much of a change or a sense of a change for Bill Steiner, at least that he wanted to share. We'll have plenty of time this week to talk about predictions and whatnot, so I don't need you to go that far. But after having some time to watch K-State play again, hearing things today, how do you feel about this game Saturday? And again, what will be a huge challenge for the Wildcats? Yeah, I kind of had them winning, you know, before the season. Yeah. And I've definitely uh, probably came off of that prediction a little bit. I'm, I, you know, last Saturday makes me concerned for this game, especially with the way the, the offensive line played and, what, you know, the task they have ahead of them when playing Mississippi State. I don't necessarily, necessarily think I got a better inclination of how the Kansas State's going to be prepared for this game through what we heard today. But at least the loss, from what I can tell, is not lingering in the locker room. It'll be a lot of fun to talk about this week and cover as K-State plays number 18 Mississippi State this Saturday here in Bill Snyder Family Stadium. For Derek Young, I'm Matt Hall. Tell your friends.